What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel here on Watch What Happens Next. By the title, you can tell we'll be diving into perks of being a wallflower. Now I'm excited to get into this one because you guys have been telling me to watch this movie for a very long time. And I thought, you know what? Since I did She's the Man, I could definitely get into perks of being a wallflower, you know? You know? Because it's also very gloomy outside. It's very like really gloomy. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm in my my natural element. I also thought about just randomly um, doing a, a <laughs> doing a commentary to Twilight New Moon because I did not finish the the, the saga. But I thought about doing it because the weather is befitting. The weather is very befitting. Um, but I said, you know what? I'm just gonna do something that you guys have voted on because I did do a poll within my community tab. If you have not checked it out, definitely refresh and definitely like stay on top of my community tab because i communicate there a lot um and i asked you guys what movie that we should watch and i said you know it was a between she's the man which i just did a reaction to if you have not checked it out definitely check it out but also um the person been a wallflower a walk to remember and goodwill hunting and you guys had chose she's the man but then the second one was perks of being a wallflower and so after i do my the vampire diaries um next video Next, I think it will come um, Good With Hunting or A Walk to Remember. So be on the lookout for one of those. Um, but yeah, if you guys like the full and un unedited versions of this reaction and more, check out my Patreon, which will be linked in the description box below. But also, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We're getting up there because we're almost at 16,000, I think. So I'm kind of excited. And also, you know, once again, put your suggestions of what movies or TV shows you would like me to react to in the comment section down below because... Yeah, I'm taking suggestions. I'm taking suggestions. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, I'm not taking guys. Heads off, I'm getting right into the video. You guys get your teeth. Kate Walsh, that name sounds familiar. Oh, I did see somebody's comment um, that they say it was based on a book. And I think you guys also said that it was directed by the same person, which is cool. Please don't try to figure out who I am. I don't want you to do that. I just need to know that people like you exist. Hmm. Like, if you met me, you wouldn't think I was the weird kid who spent time in the hospital. Yeah, it's okay if you did. It's okay. You see, I haven't really talked to anyone outside of my family all summer, but tomorrow is my first day of high school ever. I will visualize what it will be like on the last day of my senior year. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I counted, and that's... How many days is it? <laughs> 385 days. Whoa. You know what, why don't you guys get a room? Uh, Just 1,000... In my school, we didn't have... Maybe because we didn't really have fun like that, so we didn't have... A sister. Is that, um, Elena? What? But yeah, we didn't have enough funding for Letterman Jackets. Silverware. Isn't that the guy from, um, Sky High? Middle school, Susan was very fun to be around, but now she doesn't like to say hi to me. Um, and why not? And then there's Brad Hayes, but Brad's a senior, and I'm me, so who am I kidding? Oh, it's okay, you One senior decided to make fun of the teacher instead of the freshman. That prick bunch killed my best friend. <laughs> <sighs> I heard you were gonna be in my class. I'm weak. Are you proud to be a senior, having to take freshman shots? I took Woodshop class during that my senior year. Cause who's taking that? Who's actually taking that their freshman year? Girl, what? Surviving your fascist chop teacher who needs to put kids down to feel big. Oh my god. Not a class clown. Nice trapper keeper. What? Believe it or Excuse not, me? She's okay. Hold my earrings, please. Girl, I will grip you by your braces. Please stop playing with me. Why would she ever do that? Tell me which author invented the paperback book. Ooh. Anyone? He had a man hanging from a cliff by his fingernails, hence the term cliffhanger. Really? That's where that came from? It's Charles Dickens. Oh, okay. Baby, why do you speak up? The ushers would lock it in the office, and that's where we get the term. Box office? Is he right? All right, and all the answers down, but not saying them? Box office. You should learn to participate. He may be shy. If you make, uh, one friend on your first day, you're doing okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. But if my English teacher is the only friend I make today, that would be sort of depressing. Not really. Because kids can be horrible. Adults kind of get you, so. I just want to hug him. He's so sweet. I could cry. He looks so sweet. <laughs> hey, freshman toast. Why would 
would you do that? If my Aunt Helen were still here, I could talk to her. And I know she would understand how I'm both happy and sad. And I'm still trying to figure out how that could be. Mm -hmm. So, Auntie died. Uh, Addison Shepard? What is Addison Shepard doing here? That's Kate Walsh, right? That's that name sounds so familiar. <laughs> I wonder which one came out, this or first, like this one or um, Vampire Diaries. Gives me one every week. I'm weak. He can see you give it to him. It'd be a little sad, but it reminded me of your eyes. <laughs> Her eyes are sad. Did you already do the term paper on To Kill a Mockingbird? What? That just breaks my heart. Like, I, I don't want to cry. I'm already a menace to this movie. But that just breaks my heart. Oh, I remember the bleachers. <laughs> he is unhinged, it seemed like. Hey, no, thank you. Oh, suck it, virginity pledges. Virginity pledges? Oh my god. You gonna sit by him? Oh, just sit near him. Okay. Hey, Patrick. Hey, you're in my shop class, right? How's your clock coming? My dad's building it for me. Yeah. Mine looks like a boat. <laughs> you want to sit over here? Or are you waiting for your friends? Well, no, no, no. Oh. Patrick, it's so sweet. Thanks for not calling me nothing, by the way. Hey, Sam. Question. Could the bathrooms here be more... Period. Is it Hermione Granger? <laughs> this? this is... Charlie. Charlie. Your sister's dating Ponytail Derek, isn't she? Is that what they call her? You put the ass in class, Patrick. I try. Sam, I try. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Charlie. I'm Sam. It's so nice just for people just being human, decent human beings to other human beings. Like, them just talking to him when they don't have to, but they still choose to and treat him like he's just regular, a regular person because he is. Do you have a favorite band? Well, uh, I think that... Why him like that? You love ice, right? Yeah, of course, they're great. Not no. Charlie. It's is a record song? store downtown. Oh. Things sound so much better on vinyl. Oh, it's a record store. What are you gonna do when you get out of this place? Well, my Aunt Helen said I should be a writer, but... He mentions a lot about his aunt, but I guess they had a really close relationship. Slut and the Falcon. Make us solve crimes. I'm weak. You guys seem really happy together. How long have you been boyfriend and girlfriend? <laughs> He's definitely a part of the community. He's not my boyfriend. He's my stepbrother. Okay. But he's definitely a part of the community, right? Charlie, I'm not a bulimic. I'm a bulimist. <laughs> what is that? And they drove yeah, him home? Thanks for paying, Charlie. Oh, no problem. Thank you guys for the ride. Maybe I'll see you around in school. Oh. Bye, Charlie. Bye, Charlie. Okay, bye. Aww. He made friends. I don't think it's the first day, though, but he made friends, nonetheless. Your mom says... Don't go to Columbia, Candace. Shut up, Candace! You just stand there like a little bitch dog. Thing. <gasps> Charlie, Charlie, just, just, just go. I can handle Excuse it. Excuse me? Just don't wake up mom and dad. Girl, that hit should have woke them up. Woke them up. Anybody who, who hits their partner is just ridiculous to me. Like, that's... That, that, what? Oh, look, I egged him on. What? You saw it. No. He's never hit me before, and I promise you, he will never hit me again. You can't promise that. I would have told. Oh, did he wear a suit to a homecoming dance? Oh, everybody wore suits. Okay, what? Oh my God, they're playing good music. Oh, his little outfit looks cute. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Um, okay. I love that Charlie is experiencing this. He deserves this. I've never really been to like one of these like high school house parties. Charlie. Hi. Meet ladies. She looks familiar. This is Charlie's first party ever. So I expect nice, meaningful, Ow. heartfelt blowjobs from- Oh my God. How is it that you've got meaner since becoming a Buddhist? You're doing something wrong, I think. <laughs> you know something wrong, I think. <laughs> Is that Brad Hayes? Yeah, he comes here sometimes. But he's a popular kid. Hmm. Then what Come are on. we? 
Right. You look like you could use a brown. I'm so hungry at the dance. I was gonna go to King's. Um, are those special brownies? Cause why are they serve them at a party? I think they're special brownies. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie. No shade, that's how I be. What? Elizabeth, I think you're really gonna regret that, you know. Her haircut when you look back at old photographs. Oh my god. I'm really sorry, that sounded like a compliment in my head. Bob, did you get him stoned? Come on, Sammy. Yes, he did. How do you feel, Charlie? I just really want a milkshake. <laughs> Charlie is so cute. You know what's funny? I've always told myself, I'm 29. But I always told myself that I think I do want to um, foster or either, ad either adopt. Because um, kids like this, I feel like, need love and just, it'd be so adorable. And it's just, I don't know. Milkshake crazy. So I'm guessing you've never been high before. Who drinks milkshakes? My best friend, Michael. Y'all drink milkshakes? Well, where is Michael tonight? Oh, he himself last night. Oh, no. Kind of wished he left a note, you know what I mean? Where's the bathroom? It's up the stairs. I really just want to hug him. Like, I could literally cry. He's so innocent. Oh. Try. Is that the, um, the football guy? Yes. Relax, he's a friend of mine. Oh, my goodness. Brad doesn't want anyone to know. Of course he doesn't. Are you baked? Like a cake. <laughs> But it's so funny because a lot of a lot of the guys were I understand that they're in high school, they're still figuring out themselves, but a lot of the jocks sometimes well not a lot of them, but some of them do be deal. I need you to promise that you're not gonna say anything to anyone about My lips are sealed, baby. That's your business. I have a little secret. Agreed. Period. Isn't this the best milkshake ever, Alice? Mm. Are they sticking chips in the side of a milkshake? Ew, I'm going to Oh, she telling him that? Hey, everyone. Everybody. Raise your glasses to Charlie. What did I do? You didn't do anything. We just want to toast our new friend. You're a wallflower. A wallflower? I didn't think anyone noticed me. You guys. Well, we didn't think there was anyone cool left to meet. So. Well, you guys should have warned me. Um. To Charlie. To Charlie. I feel like stuff like that is just so sad because he was like, I didn't think nobody ever noticed me. Welcome to the island of misfit toys. Ooh. Turn it up! I'm scared. I'd be scared to do this. I do that sometimes. Not like that, but I put my hand out the window. Period, girl. Let your pixie cut breathe. <laughs> Patchy. I'm sorry I haven't written for a while, but I, I love those pants. So this like cut awards. He's so cute. So writing essays so and studying extra books outside of class. He and his wife might go back there after this year. I know this is selfish, but I really hope he doesn't. My favorite time though is lunch because I get to see Sam and Patrick. He's really finding his footing and I love it. Her best friend Alice loves vampires and wants to go to film school. Period. Also steals jeans from the mall. I don't know why. That steals jeans from the mall. Junior Patrick started seeing Brad on the weekends in secret. Okay. I guess it was hard too because Brad had to get drunk every time they fooled around. Then Monday in school, Brad would say, "Man." Yikes. When they finally did it, Brad said he loved Patrick. Then he started to cry. Oh. No matter what Patrick did, Brad kept saying that his dad would kill him and saying that he was going to hell. Mm. I asked Patrick if he felt sad that he still had to keep it a secret, and he said no, because at least now Brad doesn't have to get drunk to love him. Oh, yeah. I think I understand. I asked my sister about her. I guess she had a reputation, but I don't care. Oh my God, this movie just, it's just the warm feeling that it gives me. It gives me fall. What are the happy Is this burlesque? That delicate, satin draped brain. Period, um, Patrick. Are you coming for, uh, Charlie? Waters of sin from the flesh. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesse, please go 
by the way? 11.50? I think I'll get in the NYU. Oh, 11.50? That's good. But I think all my SAT results back. Oops. You can take it again. Yeah, you can take it again. I'll help you study for the next one. Will you? I love that, Charlie. Look at you. You're so sweet. Charlie's the type of person that grows up to be a great man that you marry, have kids with, and build a legacy. Wow, so sweet. What's this? Did he make her a tape? Just a mixtape. No big deal. Oh, no big deal. Okay, Charlie. I, I couldn't find that song that we were listening to, but, you know, I'm, st I'm still searching for it. So. Oh. Is he imagining this or is this actually happening? Oh, he was imagining that. Craig would be a big step up from my last boyfriend. Oh, she's dating de the, the college kid? So, uh, Sam tells me you want to be a writer. Um, not too much. Let's get this party started. Boss! Mr. Anderson, can I ask you something? Yeah? Anything. Why do nice people choose the wrong people to date? That's a great question. We accept the love we think we deserve. Can we make them mm. know that they deserve more? We can try. That's a word. We accept the love we think that we deserve. Wow. I'm about to put that into mine. You, uh, you want to start work on uh, probability and statistics? Yeah. Is it going to show the season changing? Because I kind of figured when they taking the thing down. Yeah. Yep. I can figure that. Can I $30. Sam's doing Secret Santa. It's her favorite thing in the world. Have fun. Oh, give me a little 50. This is my copy, but I want you to have it. Oh. Thanks. Have a great Christmas break. You too, Mr. Anderson. You gotta be kidding me. If you fail me, you get me next semester. Are you gonna pass him? Oh, C minus. Like my heart. All right, big brother, by three weeks. Who's your secret Santa? I mean, I have no idea. This collection of presents is so gay that I think I must have given them to myself. <laughs> but despite that distinct drum roll. Uh, oh, Charlie gave it to you? Oh. Charlie's so thoughtful. I have received socks, pants, a shirt, and a belt. I was ordered to wear them all tonight. So, guessing my secret Santa is Mary Elizabeth. You know, she bosses people around sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Your secret Santa is actually me. Mm. Why all the clothes? Well, all the great writers used to wear great suits. So, your last present is on a towel rack in the bathroom. Will you hand these out while I'm gone? Wait a second, there's only secret Santa presents. There's rules. Charlie. Mary Elizabeth, why are you trying to eat Christmas? <laughs> Why are you trying to eat Christmas? Oh, you got her the, the, the song that she was looking for. Oh, get on, out Charlie. here, buddy. Come on, Charlie. 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 He's just so sweet. You look amazing. I just love this kid so much. And we're only like 40 minutes in. I just love him so much. You got me a present? After all your help my Penn State application? A typewriter. Oh. The slut and the falcon. <laughs> this is what happens when people give like meaningful gifts, when they listen. Now look at you in that suit. You're like a sexy English schoolboy. Period, sexy. I saw Mary Elizabeth checking you out. Mm. No, no, he wants you, girl. Have you ever kissed a girl? No, no. What about you? Child, I'm gay and I kissed a girl. <laughs> I was 11. His name was Robert. He used to uh, come over to the house all the time. Was he your first boyfriend? He was my dad's boss. You know, Charlie, I what? used to sleep with guys who treated me like shit. That just... Threw me for a loop. My aunt had that same thing done to her too. She was my favorite person in the world. Mm -hmm. I 
just want to make sure that the first person who kisses you loves you. Okay? <laughs> this is just so sweet. I love you, Charlie. I love you too. I love you too. I'm so happy he got to have his first kiss with somebody that he loves and she wanted to do that for him. Like, that just touched me. I don't know why, but that just really touched me because her story, his story. Who's that? Come here, little sister. Oh, okay. That's the, um, the older brother, right? How are you feeling, Charlie? Good. Is it bad tonight? Why? I'm not picturing things anymore. And what if I do, I can just shut it off. Well, you know, Mom did say that you have good friends now. Yeah, he does. If it does get bad again, you can just talk to them, yeah? Yeah. I just love how loving he's being and attentive he's being in this moment. Um, I thought we put our own stuff in our mouth. Why we gotta... I didn't put it in that mouth. Did y'all wash your hands? How long does this take to work? It's already working clearly. Look at how she looks so proud. <laughs> Why are you shoving in a circle? I saw this tree, but it was a dragon. And it was a tree again. It just lied to me. Okay, Charlie, don't, don't freak out. Give me. Maybe y'all should not just give him stuff. My baby can't handle that. So, you want to wear these glasses? I could totally see them being smitten. Charlie's just so innocent. He's just so innocent. Oh, was the glasses there to help him see clearly? I'm guessing. So I'm guessing the under she passed around this time. So she left. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, that's why he asked him because it happened on his birthday. Did your older friends pressure you? No one pressured. Me. Oh my God! <laughs> In the hospital. I would never do drugs. Isn't that a wool blanket? Then how did you happen to be passed out on the ground at six in the morning? Well, I, uh, you know, I, I, I was really tired for it for a walk. Just look at him. <laughs> look at the mama. Nice look, Jack. I know they say that about LSD just to scare you. Are you sure? Right. I love that he's all he's around. I need a Rocky. Brad. No, no way. No. Charlie, take off your clothes. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Then if anything grows, Period. But the Christmas party is there watching. Teenagers do this. Hopefully it's not like a bunch of adults in the crowd. There you go, baby. You heard of the Sadie Hawkins dance? The one where the girl asks the guy? Would you maybe want to go with me? You want to go with me? Sick of macho guys. Plus you looked really cute in your costume. So what do you say? I think he want to go with Sam. You must be Mary Elizabeth. Yeah. I'm weak. Now she's so, she's getting punk rockish. That looks nice. Mm -hmm. Buddhist, I need you to smile. <laughs> Buddhist, I need you to smile. <laughs> he is unhinged. Are you having a good time? Not really. How come, sis? How about you? It's my first date. I don't have much to compare it to. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even notice that he was gone. Sorry, Craig couldn't come. Yeah, he said he didn't want to go to some stupid high school dance. Then why date a, a high schooler? Have a beautiful first date. Mm. You deserve it. Yes, he does. I'll try not to make you too jealous. I'm so weak. Charlie is too cute for me. I keep saying that, but I really do mean it. Just adorable. Mm. Are we drinking wine at your place? What is she? Is, is she trying to give up the nut? Oh my God. Oh, she really trying to set the mood. She's setting it. Is she really trying to take my, my baby's goodies right now? They'll be gone all night. 
She emphasized the all night part. I can't see my baby lose his V card right now. Your heart is beating really fast. I bet. Is it? Don't be nervous. Okay, girl. I mean, I'm I'm all for the assertiveness. I just don't want to see my my son lose his V card right now. Is the Merlot kicking in? Charlie. It's crazy because they both got the same haircut, low key. I just can't believe it. <laughs> believe what? I just can't believe you're my boyfriend. This is crazy. What? Who said that? She asked him if he liked her and then just boom. Straight to being a boyfriend and girlfriend. Is that um Sam's sweater? Cause didn't she wear that when she wore that like gold necklace? I really didn't want to hurt her feelings. You see, Mary Elizabeth is a really nice person underneath the part of her that hates everyone. If it's almost our two week anniversary. Yeah, I know. <laughs> two weeks. And I tried not to mind that she loves to hold hands even when her hands are sweaty. She's not enjoying this at all. But he don't know how to say no probably. Or if she would stop calling me the minute I get home from school when I have absolutely <laughs> nothing to talk about other than the bus ride home. Oh my God. That, that dairy just sits with you, you know, it walks with you. Is she still talking? No, Charlie, you've got to break up with her. I can do that? For oh, Christ's <laughs> sake, I need to use the phone. He said, I can do that? Um, Mary Elizabeth, can Charlie, I talk to you? Please don't interrupt. You know I hate that. Oh my God, girl. Let's think. Charlie. No. Truth. How's your first relationship going? Oh. It's so bad that I keep fantasizing that one of us is dying of cancer so that I don't have to break up with her. Charlie, truth or dare? Oh my God, I thought he said that for real, my God. I dare you to kiss the prettiest girl in the room. So you been, you been funny because he already thinks that Sam is the prettiest girl in the room. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. You asked the question. I'm so sorry. Ooh. What the hell is wrong with you? He at, he dare him to kiss the pretty girl in the room. If he don't think his girlfriend is the prettiest girl in the room, what did you? I'm really sorry. No, I didn't mean to do no, anything. I know no. you didn't. Why would you ask the question? That's so stupid of the co of question for you to ask. There's history with Mary Elizabeth. So why did you ask the question? Things that have nothing to do with you, but it's best if you just stay away for. for... Patrick. Tina, you set my baby up to fail. He hasn't seen him for two weeks? Oh no, Charlie. Look, I know, I, I just feel really bad about what I did. I, you know, I just don't want to do anything to ruin our it relationship. It's ruined, okay? So stop calling everyone. Stop embarrassing yourself. Okay, uh, uh, Why did you treat him like this? It's making me so upset. Oh, you don't know. You know what? Why? Why? What happened? Brad's father caught them together. Ooh. Oops. I can't stand people. You gonna do anything? What are you talking about? Talking about your pet ape just tripped me. Oh, he gonna, he gonna bring attention to it right now? This is pathetic, man. Oh. Your fixation on me. Do you want your friends to know you got those bruises? Ooh. Really? I got jumped in a parking lot. Where? Whatever. Excuse me? Oh, he's called you. Oh! That's what a lot of the people, that internalized homophobia be killing them. Oh my goodness. Are they jumping him? Oh my God. Um, what happened? Did Charlie do his big one? Did Charlie just knock the, Mar knock the Mario coins out y'all head? Touch my friends again and I'll blind you. I tell you, he's still... That kid is amazing. Through it all, he's still trying to protect them. They treat him like crap. Charlie. Yeah? Thanks for stopping. Sure, bro. I keep trying, but I, you know, I can't really remember what I did. You saved my brother. I've played that before. It's looking like one of the scariest things in the world. Cause you don't know how much time passes. It's literally like that depiction, like 
you can see something and then it's like you come to and everything's just different. Can we be friends again? Of course. I'm dating Peter now. He's in college. I know this is hard for you. I'm just glad that you're happy. Girl, have several seats. I don't I really I really don't want to read Miss Mary Elizabeth down for Phil, so I'm just gonna let her live, but Oh my god. My life is officially an after school special. What? Son of a bitch! What does that even mean? Lily comes here one night with this guy, Parker. And this was to be the night that they were gonna lose their virginity. Everything was perfect and they're just about to You do know. It. They realize they forgot the condom. They did it with one of the sandwich bags. What? How does that even mm. no more? Cause I know that felt crazy. There was this one guy. Queer as a three dollar bill. The guy's father doesn't know about his son. Oh, see where this going. Catches his son with another boy. Mm. So he starts beating him. But not like the slap kind, like the Like beating beating. And the boyfriend says stop. But the son just yells, get out. The boyfriend just did. Yeah, but it wasn't anything to your effect. Cause I mean, he was honestly trying to defuse the situation. I'm free now, right? I, I could meet the love of my life any second. You could. Um. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been spending a lot of time with Patrick, and Sam got her letter from Penn State. She didn't get in. Summer session at the main campus immediately following your high school graduation. So she still got in, right? She got in, Charlie. She got in. Good job! <laughs> After that, all Patrick could talk about was college and all their futures. Patrick going to college? But he wasn't going to leave without organizing the best senior prank ever. Oh my god. Especially because ever since I blacked out in the cafeteria, it's been getting worse. And I can't oh, turn no. it off this time. Last day. Yeah. So, uh, I know it's none of my business, but have you decided, I mean, are, are you going to New York? No. Hmm. I think I might be better at teaching than writing. <laughs> Maybe I could still give you books next year. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. The best teacher I've ever had. Thank uh -huh. you. Oh. Hug him. I'm scared to hug that baby. Trust me, I remember that feeling. Especially your senior year, that last countdown, baby. My sister finally decided to break up with Derek and go to- Wait, so prom is after the last day of school? And then there was Sam. I've looked at her pictures since that night. I like to see how happy she was before she knew. What? Basically, Craig has been cheating on Sam the whole time. <gasps> oh, oh my God. At her going away party, I wanted her to know about that night we went through the tunnel and how for the first time, I felt like I belonged somewhere. Oh, I wanted to give her a part of me. Are these all your books, Charlie? Charlie's so thoughtful, like. Pretty soon you'll have a whole new group of friends, you know? Mm -hmm. You won't even think about this place anymore. I had lunch with Craig today. He said he was sorry and that I was right to break up with him. Just asking myself, why do I and everyone I love pick people who treat us like we're nothing? Mm. Drop the gym. We accept the love we think we deserve. Mm. Right on cue. Then why didn't you ever ask me out? Wait, you actually liked him like that? I, um, I, I just didn't think that you wanted that. Right. Well, I just want you to be happy. Don't you get it, Charlie? I can't feel that. It's really sweet and everything, but you can't just sit there and put everybody's lives ahead of yours and think that counts as love. Mm. I want people to like the real me. He loves the real you. I know I'm quiet, and, and I know I should speak more. If you knew the things that uh, that were in my head most of the time, you'd know how, how much we're alike and, and how we've been through the same things. And, and you're not small. You're beautiful. What's wrong, Charlie? Nothing. What was that? <sighs> I'm starting to think 
when he said that we've been through the same things, knowing what Sam been through with her dad's boss, by him recoiling away when she touched him in that way, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but that's where my mind is going. Because also I do remember the aunt saying when she was pulling away from him, she said it could be our little secret. Guys. Don't wake your sister. I know it. The things that kids go through. That's so sad. My fault. It's all my fault. Stop crying. Stop crying. Candace, your brother's on the phone. I killed Aunt Helen, didn't I? She died getting my birthday present, so I guess I killed her, right? Call the police and send them to my house. Stop her. Crazy again. No, Charlie, listen to me. Mom and Dad are gonna be home with Chris any second. She's thinking. Charlie? Charlie! I'm Dr. Burton. Where am I? Naveview Hospital. How, how do you stop seeing it? Seeing what, Charlie? There is so much pain, and I, I, I don't know how to not notice it. It never stops. Do you understand? What about your Aunt Helen? What about her? You Helen. said some things about her in your sleep. I, 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 don't, I don't care. If you want to get better, you have to. I was in the hospital for a while. I won't go into detail about all of it, but I will say there were some very bad days. The worst day was the time my doctor told my mom and dad what Aunt Helen did to me. I'm so sorry. The best days were those when I could have visitors. My brother and sister always came. Doctor said we can't choose where we come from, but we can choose where we go. Period. I know it's not all the answers, but it was enough to start putting these pieces. My heart just so it breaks for him. Could Charlie come out and play? The first night we had grilled stickies. So good. I found the tunnel song. Wait, so the song that he gave her, was it a tunnel song? Let's drive. I don't know if I will have the time to write any more letters because I might be too busy trying to participate. Period. I just want you to know that I was in a bad place before I started high school. And you helped me. Even if you didn't know what I was talking about or know someone who's gone through it, you made me not feel alone. I just love this kid so much. I am here and I am looking at her. And she is so beautiful. Period. When you know you're not a sad story, you are alive. And you stand up and see the lights on the buildings and everything that makes you wonder. And in this moment, I swear, we are infinite. Period. Well, guys, that was the perks of being a wallflower. I took, I listened to like the um the song at the end of the movie just to take time to collect myself because I really was not expecting to get as emotional as I did. Now I go into every movie being op like acknowledging the fact that I may cry, but yeah, um, it was a great movie. It was a great movie. Um. I love how it tackles without actually tackling um, the subject of, you know, not really the subject, because I'm just not going to outright say it, but the contents of it, right? If you catch my drift. Um, without actually showing us, without actually speaking about it directly, but you being able to see it, listen to it, and comprehend the picture that's trying to paint to you. I think it was done in a beautiful way. My heart breaks for people who go through stuff like that. Um, who have experienced it, my heart just goes out to them. Cause even, and it seems like even he said like with his aunt, hurt people hurt people. 
But yeah, if you guys like the full and the unedited versions of this reaction, definitely check out my Patreon, which will be linked in the description box below. Like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Just, you know, you know, <laughs> I said subscribe on this video, but I really mean subscribe to my channel so that you could join this family here that we are growing here on this platform, that which is YouTube. Um, I love everybody. Your past does not define you. You define yourself. It's not about where you come from. It's about where you're going. I love you guys with every fiber of my being, and, and I send everybody under the sound of my voice a ton load and abundance load of peace, love, and positivity, and I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day.